Hi, this is Johnny from DNA Painter. Now, a lot of us take a DNA test in order to try and solve family mysteries. But the process can be complicated and confusing as you grapple with your match list and also the amounts of DNA that you share with people within that. I've just released a new tool to try and make this process simpler. Here's an example family mystery. We have someone called David and David has an unknown grandfather. His mother, Kathy, was adopted. So David has studied his match list and he's been able to narrow down which matches are via that unknown grandfather. And he's been able to figure out how two of them are actually linked to each other. So now he's got a small family tree, which he, I guess he knows must somehow be linked to his biological family tree. So this means that he's now ready to use my new tool, which is called What Are The Odds or Watto Plus. And in order to use the tool, uh, you need the following info. First of all, you need the name and birth year of someone with an unknown parent. Now that could be you, it could be one of your parents or even an ancestor. In our example, David would specify that he's looking for the biological father of Kathy born in 1944. Next, you need to specify whose DNA matches you're using. Now, in our example, Kathy is not able to test. So David will select Kathy's child from the drop down. And then he can add his own name, David. The final thing you need is a family tree that connects DNA matches. Now, that's easier said than done, of course. It can be very challenging and your success is going to depend on who your matches are, also perhaps where they are in the world. As I mentioned, David has already built this tree, so he can import that into the tool. He can import it as a GEDCOM file, or he can also add it in manually himself, or also import from an older version of What Are The Odds. Next, he needs to add in the amounts of DNA that he shares with each match. And he's then ready to ask the tool to suggest how Kathy might fit into this tree. When making suggestions, you can ask the tool to just use people already in the tree. Or if you think your tree might be incomplete, you can allow the tool to create unknown people in those positions where the DNA indicates that they could be a candidate. You also have the option of applying age-based probabilities. So for example, based on US national statistics, about three times as many 33-year-olds as 43-year-olds were the fathers of newborn children in the year 1944. And if you know the birth year of the other biological parent, then you can add that as well. In this case, David knows that his biological grandmother was born in 1922. So if he checks both of these boxes to use the father's age and the biological mother's age, we can see that this makes the case for Harry Harrington being the father of Kathy even stronger. So you might ask, does this 96% really mean that there's a 96% chance that Harry was the father? And the answer is not exactly. 96% is the relative probability. So that means that out of all the hypotheses that you've got in the tree, this has a 96% probability. And that's obviously based on the DNA matches that you've entered, and also in this case, the age of the parents. Now, it's very, very tempting, isn't it, when you see a nice juicy number like this to think, yes, I've sorted it. So I have a few words of caution for you. The first is make sure that you've considered all possible hypotheses. And that's why I built this functionality that allows you to click a button and have the tool suggest them for you. The next thing to remember is the more data, the better. Adding new DNA matches could change the probabilities dramatically. And you'll see within the status area at the top right of the tool, I actually call out particular lines where if you have a new match, it could make a big difference. In this case, we can see that the tool is pointing out that there are no tested descendants of Thomas Harrington. And that if there were, this could change things a lot. Finally, you always have to remember to consider who could have been in the right place at the right time. 
For example, if we found out that Harry Harrington was actually over in Europe from 1943 to 1945, that would actually rule him out since Kathy was born in Chicago. And that's the end of this quick overview of What are the Odds Plus. Thank you very much for watching.